Welcome back, Dark of Survivors. It's Mortal TV here, and today we're going to be diving into the details of the Dorm Room 206 key. It's a key that's crucial for the Operation Aquarius quest on customs. For loot-wise, there's not too much. I mean, if you need water and you don't want to carry a whole water bottle, maybe this is an alternative if you want to do that. Now, just like any other key, it weighs 0.01 kilograms and fits snugly in a little 1x1 grid. The Dorm Room 206 key is a must-have for your quest, but for your custom raids, nah, up to you. Let's find out where we can find this key. Now pretty much every key in the game has three spots it could spawn, one being in jackets, you just go ahead and walk up to them, they hang it up on the wall pretty much everywhere, and there's a chance the key could spawn in here, but I didn't get it so it's not going to be in this one. You just got to keep looking around for it, it's a bit of a gamble because almost every key can spawn, good luck for that. And then the second place keys are going to spawn in is going to be in the drawers of these filing cabinets. I fucked that jump up. But if you go ahead and search each drawer, there's a chance it could spawn in there. Uh, did not spawn in there for me, and just a little tip, if they are open like this already, just go ahead and close it, and you can open it back up. Now the third the third place you could find uh, keys are going to be in the pockets and backpacks of scavs. So just go ahead and search their pockets, and if it's nothing in there, you could try with the backpack if they have it. Mine did not have a backpack, so can't look there. But if you can, go ahead. As for where the dorm room 206 key is going to be used at, it's going to be over in two-story dorms and customs. Just go on through the front door. You could even take the stairs that are on the side of the building and just go up from there. But just go on up to the second floor. And it's going to be the first room on your left. Right here. 206. Go ahead and lock that. Inside room 206, you'll find items like bottled waters, aqu aquamaris, and water filters. So, I mean, they don't spawn that often. It's honestly just a quest room key. So if you're looking to find loot, this isn't going to be the key for you. It's really just to get the quest Operation Aquarius Part 1 done, and you just throw it away, sell it, whatever. It's not super useful besides that. So there is a trading option for this key. If you have Therapist Level 1, which you're going to have once you start the game up, um, for 7 meds, you can get this key. That's not super worth it but if you really need to get this key you don't have the flea market or you want to get this out of the way and you just happen to have seven piles of meds you don't want to just use go ahead i know how annoying it is to be stuck behind a quest from rng that stuff it's irritating as for this key's quest involvement it's going to be a therapist quest operation aquarius part one it's one of those really early on quests that's not super difficult to complete unless you're doing this at the start of the raid then it's a very contested area but you just use the key go in and you're gonna have to survive the raid, but that's all that's quest involvement is for this key. That's just the quest, not so much loot, just quest. All right, and that's your rundown of the dorm room 206 key. But as for quest progression, or you're just, I don't know, looking for really rare loot or if hydration needs, um, this key's got you covered. <laughs> got any tips or stories of your own from dorm room 206? Go ahead and drop them down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're looking forward to more EFT guides from Mortal TV. That's all for today's video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.